Double brick walls vs timber veneer walls in the construction industry. When it comes to building a house, choosing the suitable wall material is crucial. Two popular options are double brick walls and timber veneer walls, which is timber frame, internal or external, with one leaf of brickwork as internal or external cladding construction. In this case study, we will compare the benefits of these two materials in the construction industry. Benefits of double brick walls Double brick walls have been popular for many years due to their durability and strength. According to an article by Architecture and Design, double brick walls have excellent thermal insulation properties, which helps to keep the house cool in summer and warm in winter. They also provide superior noise insulation, making them ideal for noises located in noisy areas. Furthermore, double brick walls require minimal maintenance and can last for decades without significant repairs. Benefits of Timber Veneer Walls Timber veneer walls are an excellent alternative to double brick walls, as they offer several benefits. Timber veneer walls are relatively lightweight and can be transported and installed more quickly than double brick walls. According to in several published construction articles, timber veneer walls are also more cost-effective than double brick walls, making them an attractive option for homeowners on a budget. Additionally, timber veneer walls are versatile and can be painted or stained to match style or design preferences. Case study let us consider two identical house built side by side, one with double brick walls and the other with timber veneer walls. The houses are located in a suburban area, with a moderate climate and occasional noise pollution from nearby traffic. The house with double brick walls is better at insulating the house from external noise and temperature changes, providing a quieter and more comfortable living environment for the occupants. However, the timber veneer walls are more cost-effective to build, transport and install, and its lightweight construction makes it more resistant to earthquakes or other natural disasters. Conclusion Both double brick walls and timber veneer walls have unique advantages and disadvantages. Choosing the right material depends on the homeowner's budget, climate, and lifestyle preferences. If noise insulation and their insulation are essential to double brick walls are the better options. However, if affordability and versatility are proprieties, timber walls are attractive. The best solution for the Western Australian environment would depend on a variety of factors as the climate. Local building codes and regulations, building materials availability and the building project specific needs. However, based on the previous information considering the climate in Western Australia, it can be suggested that double brick walls may be the better option due to their superior insulation properties. Western Australia has a predominantly hot and dry climate, with temperatures often exceeding 30 degrees during summer. Double brick walls are known to provide excellent thermal insulation, which can help maintain a comfortable indoor temperature and reduces energy costs associated with heating and cooling. Additionally, double brick walls are also known for their durability and resistance to fire, which is essential in the context of the state's bushfire-prone areas. That being said, it is essential to consider other factors such as cost, availability of materials, and construction time when making a decision. It may be worth consulting with a local building expert to determine the best solution for a specific project in Western Australia. The choice of thermal construction materials depends on several factors, such as climate, building design, budget and availability. Western Australia has a warm and dry climate, with hot summers and mild winters. Therefore, Western Australia's best thermal construction material should have good insulation properties and effectively regulate indoor temperatures. Compared to other states in the eastern part of Australia, such as Victoria and New South Wales, which have a temperate climate, Western Australia requires a different approach to thermal insulation. In these states, building materials such as brick and concrete are commonly used for their thermal mass properties, which help to regulate indoor temperatures by absorbing and releasing heat slowly. However, in Western Australia, where the climate is warmer and drier, materials with high thermal mass properties may not be the best option. Instead, lightweight materials such as polystyrene, cellulose, and fiberglass are preferred for their insulation properties. Installation materials such as fiberglass bats and blown cellulose are suitable for warmer climates and can help reduce building heat gain. Additionally, reflective roof coatings and insulation materials such as polystyrene and polyurethane can also effectively reduce heat transfer in buildings. Therefore, Western Australia's best thermal construction materials would depend on several factors, such as the specific location, building design, and budget. However, lightweight insulation materials such as polystyrene, cellulose, and fiberglass are preferred for their insulation properties and ability to regulate indoor temperatures effectively in Western Australia's warm and dry climate. 
Overall, it is essential to carefully consider the advantages and disadvantages of different construction materials, and choose the most suitable one based on specific project requirements, budget, and environmental factors. Consulting with a local building expert can also help make informed decisions about construction materials and techniques.